The following footage was taken at Linux Fest Northwest 2008 last April. A lot of the hardware that we saw there was uh, stuff that was going to be releasing throughout the year or stuff that was just releasing at that time. So we got kind of a sneak peek of what to expect from 2008 in the Linux space. It's also a good mix of community and commercial vendors around Linux, but on top of that, it's just a lot of fun. It takes place in Bellingham, Washington, and it's happening again this year. This will be Linux Fest's 10th year, and it will be April 25th and 26th in Bellingham, Washington. And it's a great way to kind of see the people that you've maybe ch chatted with online and other things like that in actual real space. It's, uh, it's a unique opportunity, and it's something I've enjoyed for many years. So I'll go ahead and I'll play the footage from Linux Fest 2008, just so you can kind of see what we saw, which if you, if you when this footage was taken, a lot of that stuff was brand new. Hadn't, nobody had really gotten their hands on it yet. It was a lot of fun, so I hope you enjoy the Linux Fest. <laughs> actually has an extra power plug next to it that you can plug in like a CD-ROM drive and things that need more power than USB can ride to it's still working. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I read the reviews that the keyboard is like awesome, almost full size, like 90 plus Yeah, somewhere in there. You don't have to quite sharpen your fingers to use this. Yeah, I have big hands. Yes, it is. And it's 1080i. Nice. I gotta say. That is a great way to do that. And why did I you know, put in the valuable time and resources to do it? So we got the manpower, we just don't have the jobs. So we need to get to help you come up with jobs. Excellent. Is there any kind of questions based upon that? Yeah. Well, I have an idea for the volunteers. Uh -huh. uh, and maybe it's been done already, but I haven't seen it. My one, I have one big problem with the XO. And they, they want to get going with it. What, what is, is there any way that the people who are sponsoring that can get them but, equipped? There are private pilots, there have been private pilots, and <clears throat> there's private pilots coming up in New York and in uh, the Bahamas. SSH and run the That's a beauty. To, main, to manage it. That is a beauty. Uh, you got it up there? That's good to know. A little, little hut size comparison there. Hand and the HP. Not very big. Not very big. That is really cool. 549. Uh, see, and then you get a, then you get a, basically a keyboard that looks a little more usable. Yeah, you have to sharpen your fingers before you use this one. Yeah, this is a little yeah. trade-off again. You know, different choices. But yeah, yeah. I, I love the little guy, but honestly, I'm looking at that for like the extra half inch in yeah. width. Right. Let me. Uh, just enough to get you up to 90 percent of the. It's nice to see them next to each other. Cause yeah, so that's what we're thinking. We were just over, you know, doing the same thing with the OLPCXO. And Hang on, I'm gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Feel free. It's a good thing to remember. High-end workstation. Oh, really? This is a workstation? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, these are for uh, like content creation or uh, uh, animation type stuff. Sure, sure. Um, 
some people use them for you know high-end mathematical calculations and stuff like that. And the cool thing about it is it's got all this computing power in it. It's got two quad-core Xeons in it. Two quad-core Xeons? Yeah. Okay. You can put up to 64 gigs of memory in it. All right. And uh, you also have plenty of storage here. Nice. And the cool thing is if you want really, really fast I.O., you can put SAS disk in there too. Really? Yeah. Nice. Dang. I, I sold one of these last week. Matt. Yes. I think I downloaded that. I downloaded it.